Hey everybody, and welcome back to more Josh L5. We've made it... ...some simpler levels, because we have been put through the ringer in the last few videos, let's be honest. I mean, we've had long le level after long level after long level, with a few exceptions, but let's see if that will change with this video. Sawdust Fields. Keys are scarce... Ways it's yes scarce in this field. Use the ones, w ones you find wisely, but some might not be useful at all. All right, I I always had this thing about the word scarce. Like, um, for some reason I've pronounced it as scarce in the past, and I actually pronounced the word scarcity in front of one of my friends, and he thought it was really funny, you know, because I don't know, he thought like city of scars or something like that. I don't know. It was just really funny. And it looks like this is just a nice, simple, um, get the chips and open doors and... Oh, okay. So we don't want to collect the green key until after we've collected all the chips. Got it. Okay. It looks like we can collect the other ones, though. I mean, I can get rid of this instantly with no problem. Question, though, is did I open the right door or not? It would appear not. Okay. So it's not just the green key you want to avoid using. You also want to avoid opening certain doors that you can get to. And why am I just clearing up all this dirt? I don't know. Why did I get the green key? I don't know. Okay, let's just get the chips we can get to. Let's not even worry about opening doors right now unless we really have to. So yeah, I like the nice open feel here. This is a welcome change from the last level where everything was super cramped and rigid and uh, everything had to be done in a certain order, which may still be the case here, but it looks like it's a lot simpler. It looks like the green key is the only key that involves a trap, so I'm just going to collect the blue one. I mean, it can't hurt. And if it does, then this looks pretty short enough that it won't be much of an issue. Okay, so we got... I think we got everything we can get, so let's go through this door. Oh, was I supposed to use the yellow key on that door? Please tell me that's not the case. And is there something under here? No, okay. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. What about here? We haven't been over here yet. In fact, I don't think we've been over here on any attempt. So there's a chip behind the green door? Maybe there are extras or something. Um, One left. Okay, so we got all the chips. Yay. But, I'm noticing that there's a ball guarding that red key over there. Which probably means that we're supposed to use that block up above, down here. So, let's clear up some dirt here and hope that we can construct a route using the open doors. Well, I guess the open door, uh, singular, just because we've only opened one. Now, let's see. That's closed, so... Ooh. The, do we open this? I'm assuming we open this, because at least that allows us to bring it down. Mm. So right now, it's just a matter of getting to the red door. Okay, I like this level. It's, it's very simple. There's only one color of each key that you can get, it would seem. And that's kind of cool. I like that idea. Also, is there any thing that we need the green key for? Is it just a total red herring? I'm guessing it's just a total red herring. There's no use for it. In which case, you know, I'm okay with that. I, I like the fact that you don't have to use it for something after you pass the trap. That is kind of a nice change. And I think the way to go is through here and this way. And here we are. All right. I think we got it. Just want to make sure I got the ball on the right side of the uh, the bouncing path there. 
Yeah, I really liked this level. This was pretty simple. It taught the concept of don't collect things until you need them, or not at all, in this case, pretty well. And it's got a really nice aesthetic, which I always enjoy. If there's, I think I've said it before, but if there's one thing I love about this set, it's the aesthetics. It has been phenomenal so far. You need a, gr a red key and a green key before proceeding to the bottom section. Compressed Funhouse is the name of this level. And if I'm looking at this correctly, I believe that this was made for a competition on CC Zone, um, where you had to construct a level in this little area with wa- Oh, yeah, we've got skates, right. Yeah, you had this yellow key, you got the trap button, you the block, the skates, and I believe a trap and this wall configuration. You can't add any walls or anything. I haven't released my level to the public yet, and I don't believe that uh, it's been released publicly yet. But it was kind of boring compared to this, if I may be honest. So... What am I supposed to do from here? I don't know. Can I get rid of the skates? What is up with that? Like, am I supposed to get fire boots somewhere? I don't know. Okay, let's start over. Okay, so the tank does blow something up. Okay, so that's good to know. And I couldn't have gotten to the blue door beforehand. Okay. Sometimes I lose track of what I get when. I'm sure that's not possible in Lynx. So I get the green key here. But what after that? Do I get something under this? Ah, okay. Got it. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Now the question is... Am I supposed to not have a blue key? Or yellow key? before taking that on, or am I just supposed to get rid of it here? I'm going to assume get rid of it there was the answer. My question, though, is how do I get over... I guess I just go through the water. Okay. And there we go. Oh, whoops, okay. So... How is this possible in Lynx, exactly? I'm really curious how this is even possible in Lynx. Okay, I have to use that there. But over here... Okay, I have to push it down, no matter what. Problem is... Oh, wait, no, there's no problem. Wait a minute. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, I was making that way more complicated than it needed to be. Oh, I could have just done that the whole time. Okay. I'm wondering if Josh fixed this in an updated version of the set. Now, yeah, Josh has made updated... Um, up, up, what am I trying to say? Updates to this level set. Um, the problem, though... I, I've been meaning to talk about this in the last few videos, but I have just totally forgotten... The problem, though, is that he's taken the set off CC Zone due to an argument that he had with other CC Zone members. Personally, I think it's kind of a little unfair to punish the rest of us who really weren't directly involved in that argument and who have nothing to do except play this set by taking it down, but I can kind of understand because he intends to re-upload it once it has 100 levels. But that being said, I don't really know what he's done to the updates, and I do have a couple of updates that he's made, but I have no idea what he did since the change log on CC Zone has been taken down with the level set. So, yeah, I'm just going to play the original version until further notice. So, I'm guessing maybe that bust was fixed, but I really don't know. And I think I just totally messed this up because I can now see that I could have pushed another block. Well, I guess I could have pushed any of these blocks. Okay, I can start here and then work my way around. Okay, so Brick Block Facility. It kind of sounds like a Mario level. Brick Block Facility. Um, Is there a way I can extract this without actually using that pop-up wall? Because that would be nice. 
This is a very interesting design. Like, can I get any of these outs? That would be cool if I could. Wow, I, I'm looking for little holes that I could just kind of break through. That's kind of become the game here now. Because I don't really see any other real way to make any of this work. I mean, there's nothing I can really do here, right? Um. Oh, I can go down through there. Okay, I can totally go down through there. Okay, so let's push this here. There we are. So what does that do for us? We can go through here. We get the blue key. We can't really do anything with those, so I'm just not going to worry about them. And we can go through the blue door where I can move around this into a new area. Okay. I like this whole idea of like a block checkerboard that's not really something that you can play around with except at certain areas, if that makes any sense. You guys know what I'm trying to say, I think. Um, I know I can get this out, but what about the last one? Yeah, what am I supposed to do about the last one? I know that there's got to be a... Oh, wait. This? Maybe the solution? I'm just kind of winging it here. Okay, green key. But what good does a green key do? Oh, wait, was I supposed to go down there instead of to the right? If that was the case, that... Ah... Hmm, this is really interesting. Okay, let's start over. Let's just start over for now. So the green door is here at the beginning. And it looks like we get the flippers using it. So, wait a minute. The flippers would allow us to go through the other path without having to use any blocks at all, right? So what's the entire point of even going to get the green key if we don't have two blue keys? Yeah, I don't really see how that's even doable. Is there another blue key that I just missed? And I think I just wasted that. I love this design. Like, this is stellar. I'm really enjoying this. So if I were to go through here, I pushed this there. Huh. I'm just looking around again. Just looking around. I don't really see anything else I can... At least not much that I can do here. I'm just going to go ahead and free this up and push it there. So at least that's an option. Yeah, I don't really see any other box I can push and still get out alive from pushing... I'm, of course, referring to this one right above me. I could theoretically push to the right, but then I would get killed. Unless there's a wall under it. Yeah, there's not. Well, I guess if there were, then it would have been pointless to push it anyway. What was I thinking there? Fail. Alright. Let's go ahead and push this up here. I don't know why I said that in an accent, but it sounded pretty cool, right? Okay, maybe not. And, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything else to do except push that there. So is there another block somewhere that I'm just missing? Like, seriously, is there another block just laying around that has something under it besides this one? Also, what am I supposed to use this lone block here for, anyway? I'm just kind of trying to figure out... I, I thought I extracted this before, didn't I? I don't see how to extract it exactly. Oh, it's just the hint. Okay, maybe I didn't even... I don't think I read this before, actually. Okay, so... 
Did I just miss a blue key under one of these blocks? Maybe I did. Maybe it's under here. Or not. Did I push that last time? I can't even remember. Well, at any rate, I don't believe the solution is to go down there, but I don't see any other options right now. So, yeah, let's do it. Or maybe not, because we really can't do any more. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really stuck here. I really don't know what to do. I'm just kind of lost. I don't really know where the second blue key is. I really don't legitimately know. It's not under that top one, is it? I, I don't know if I've pushed that yet. And again, I can't really push any of these. At least I don't see a way to push any of them. I feel like I've exhausted every option here. Yeah, there's nothing under that. And I'm pretty sure I'm stuck. Wait a minute. Oh, was I supposed to use that on the... Uh, Wait a minute. What exactly does that do? What exactly does this... Am I supposed to use this block on the trap button, I wonder? I wonder if that was the solution. The problem now is, what do I do to extract that? Like, there's nothing to be done here now, is there? I mean, I don't see anything... Yeah, I'm I'm totally lost. Like, what was the whole point of even doing that and opening this door up? Oh, I was supposed to push the block here to the right. That's what it was. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, it's kind of hard when you do things wrong and you're like, oh, I'm supposed to do this, you know. Um, thing is, is there a block here that I'm not supposed to use? Because there's three of them. And I can really only use two of them. Tell you what, I'm going to just push the top one. Let me try that. And there's absolutely nothing else to be done here, right? I mean, I don't see any other blocks or any other shenanigans I need to worry about. Oh, okay. That explains it. Got it. Okay. Now everything else makes sense. Okay. Alright, so I was just doing things in the wrong order up there. That was the problem. Okay. Got it. So now I can just go through this room with zero trouble. At least I hope I can. Wait, can I get another block out of here? It sure looks like I can. I mean, I can get that top one off, so I don't know what the point of that is. Maybe it's just an extra? If it is an extra, that's pretty nice. Oh well, I'll leave it alone for now. For now, I want to get some flippers. I like the way this is set up, I really do. Okay, so now that we've gotten past the opening section, hopefully the rest of this will be a snap. I'm sounding like Mary Poppins. You f***ing snap! The job's a game! Okay, that just has a terrible English accent. Um, What exactly do I do from here? There's a thing down there. It looks as if I don't really have much of a choice. I'm wondering if I had to actually push blocks to make a path here. At least I don't really see any way I can really unlock some of these blocks, so... You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to move forward. That's interesting. I think this is the only real option I've got. Maybe? I don't know. And then we go here and... Oh, okay. Okay, I see the game. Okay. So I need to get blocks into there. Got it. 
I hope I have enough. I got three more left to extract, but where do I get them? I got one here that I can get. Two more. Okay. Two more. What do I do with... Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just kind of rambling today. Okay, here's two that I can pick up. Okay, good. I can extract. Okay, good. That's good news. And I got a red key, and there, I noticed there's two red doors down there, and the other red key is under that block that I pushed earlier. So that's good. Okay, I think I've got this. I think I've got it. I do have to get rid of my boots, but such as life. Okay, so I got the two red keys. I can go through here now. This is the only option I've got, so let's go through that. And now I can go through here. More chips and more blocks peppering the area. It looks like I need to... What do I need to do? I need to get a block up there for something. I don't know what the something is, but it's something. Hmm. So in order to get a block to that bomb, I have to use this recessed wall, right? In order to get a block down there, I need to use the recessed wall above me. Okay, it seems simple enough. The question is, what blocks do I use to make that work? Wow, this is actually kind of a bit puzzling. So I can use this recessed wall above me to get this block out. But what about after that? I don't see... I don't see what I need to do to get those two water spaces down there filled. That's still a mystery. I don't know. This this whole room feels weird. I can, I can get three blocks here, there, and... Okay, I can get this one, the two next to me here, above and below, and then this one here. So that's three. But after that... I really don't know. I I don't. It doesn't seem like I can un unlock more just from going down there. I must be missing something really important. Ah, uh, what do I do? There's still this. Oh wait, there's one right there that I can get. Okay, duh. Okay, let's let's just do this. Wait, except how do I get... How do I get this one out of there? How do I get... How do I get the one above me out? Ooh, this is quite the conundrum. Also, wait, no, that's the one that I can't get because of the recessed wall issue. No, I was thinking of this one. Never mind. I'm, I'm mixing everything up now. This is so confusing. So what is, is this another correspondence puzzle? Is it... I'm beginning to think yes. Let's see, this block was here. I don't think I had any other choice but to push it down there, right? And time is running out, so I better get a move on. How do I extract the one above me? I don't see how that's even possible. I don't know. I... Yeah.
yeah, I'm I'm totally lost as to how that's even doable. You know what, I'm just going to push this here and hope that there's something that I've missed that can help. Let me just take care of all this business. Okay, so I ultimately need the keys for that whole area up there. Oh wait, I can just totally push stuff up there. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Oh, I approach it from the bottom. That's how I do it. Okay, got it. Okay. I missed that. Okay, so that makes much more sense now. Alright, so with that in mind, it looks like I need to use one of these and then get the final three chips here. Alright. Question is, do I push this down? And if so, do I block myself from accessing this area forever? I don't know. Let's just go ahead and go down. There we go. All right. No end game necessary with those blocks. Awesome. That was a great level. I really enjoyed that a lot. It was very well designed. It was fiendish, but it was very manageable. Let's do intergalactic. Intergalactic? Is it supposed to be like intergalactic? But in I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that uh, uh, that series Rock did. Um, Rock Jinneru made a series called... Uh, the Sedna Suite, and the final level was called like Gravity Maze or something like that. It was like a level with a bunch of force floors and gravel, just like this, except it was a little bit more narrow in terms of the route you had to take. This one is more of like an actual maze. Um, yeah, this looks like fun. I'm just sliding around, collecting chips. It looks pretty simple. This is really nice. I'm liking this. There's a little bit of sidestepping involved, at least it seems like there is if you really want to be quick, but it's not evil at all and there's really no ways to get killed on the force floor, so that's nice. And as far as I can tell, there's really no way to really kill yourself by virtue of taking the wrong path on this, so that's kind of nice too. And I've only got five ships left, wow. Thankfully the time limit is pretty generous. It's low, but it doesn't seem like it needs to be high. So yeah, this level is awesome. I'm enjoying it. Whoa, that was close. Okay, so now we got the red key. Where do we need to use it? Did I pass by a red door? Oh, here we go. Here's the last... So I need fire boots to get to the end. I need fire boots. So where are the fire boots? I'm not sure I feel about dodging right at the end of the level, but it looks manageable enough. Oh, here we go. There we are. All right, so let's head back up here. And there we go. We exited. That was fun. I liked that. All right, air shaft, level 41. Let's do this. This looks like a simple blue wall slash ice maze. I'm just going to use the left-hand rule here. And I will collect chips along the way, even if they're not quite on the left side. So... I know Josh really likes blue wall mazes, so this, I'm sure, is a level that was really fun for him to make. Truth be told, I, I enjoy blue wall mazes as well. I feel like they are just criminally underrated. I think that's mainly just because it feels tedious to go through and, and try out all the walls in a blue wall maze. But in some ways, I think it can be kind of relaxing. There's not really a whole lot of thought involved. And after a nice big puzzle, this can kind of be a nice little uh, reprieve of sorts, you know? And with a nice healthy fat time limit like this, did I just say healthy and fat? Um, that just sounded weird, I'm sure. Um, the level is totally manageable, you know? I think it works. Also, I'm wondering if I've just totally broken my left-hand rule a few times here by doing this, but I think I'm sort of on track, so I don't think there's any harm done. Nice thing is that we, we are trying most of the walls out, so if there's an area that's been untested, so to speak, we can just find it easily with hopefully zero trouble. And somehow I just kind of shifted to the right-hand rule now. 
Can I go mm -hmm. guessing yet? Because I've already been down mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go this way. Mm -hmm. This is a really interestingly designed mm -hmm. level. I I'm liking it. Oh, wait a minute. I bet I'm supposed to go up through there, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, it looks like we're done with this entire area, so let's backtrack. If I can remember how to backtrack, here you go. I know that those are real, but I don't know, it's just kind of nice to do them. And I just came from this, right? Okay, was there another route? I'm lost already. No. Okay, that just goes down. Okay, let's go back here. Maybe I just missed something. Oh, here we go. This is what I need to do. Okay, we haven't been here yet. We have not been down this route. The nice thing about these sorts of mazes is that usually they are pretty rigid as far as paths are concerned, like there's no loops or anything. So if you see a blue wall and like this right here where you've been down both the paths uh, right next to it, it's probably real. So that's kind of a nice indicator that you can use to determine that. And it looks like we're kind of going back to the start, so let's go down this side. Have I been down here? I don't... No, I haven't. Okay. Of course I haven't. I haven't been down this whole area. And these... No, these are, are fake. Okay, good. So I need to get to that ship down there, which probably means I'm going to have to come from the left, right? I mean, that seems to be the only viable option. Let's not forget the left-hand rule. I'm, I'm trying to be systematic, but I keep messing that up. Ah, there we go. Okay, I think we've done everything in this little branch of the path, so let's go down the slide. Awesome. Okay, we're getting more stuff. Cool. I don't think there's anything that goes down here, so... Yeah. Pretty sure not. So, where do I go next? Oh, okay, here we are. Here we go. Um, up here? It's getting kind of a little harder now that I've pretty much explored a lot of the paths to see where I haven't been yet. So, or how to get to where I haven't been yet, I should say. So where do I go now? I need to get to that area down there, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, here we go. I need to go over through this. And there we are. All right. We got everything, and we can now exit the stage. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, my goodness. This was fun. I liked this level a lot. Air shaft, you are amazing. Green lock pool. Tell you what, guys. We will take this on in the next video. We've had a very productive video. We've got a lot of levels completed. It was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for this, Josh. I really appreciate the nice reprieve here, the nice, easier levels. It's been a blast, man. This was a great episode, so thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, be sure to hit that like button, and I will see you on the flip side. Take care, guys, and I will see you then.